choices and my game plan for today i figured out a menu this week is kind of hard because my dad will be arriving here on thursday so monday we had leftover tuesday oh yeah we had we had oh chicken and we had rice last night and on wednesday you guys since i'm gonna be out all day i'm gonna order pizza yes you heard me i'm not gonna stress out about it and you gotta do what you gotta do to survive <laughs> so i'm gonna order pizza for us tonight and then on um tomorrow since my dad's gonna be driving all day i think i'm just gonna do a crock pot my mom's recipe of pinto beans and get some fresh maybe french bread or something with that just in case if they're hungry and they would like to have a bowl um, when they arrive or i could also freeze it and then we can have it for lunch because my dad really likes my pinto beans and then on friday i'm thinking since jay is off we'll probably go out somewhere out to dinner and take mom out and saturday Jay wanted to do a small crab feed for my dad, so that's a game plan, not unless something else kind of comes up. And then on Sunday, I'm thinking about just having Chinese food here to make it simple because it's Christmas Eve and I'm going to be cooking a lot the following day on Monday for Christmas. I kind of want to leave it a little bit low key so on this day i can just do my food prep and i don't have to worry about cooking for that night i love crossing things off my list okay so i did my errands list paid the house insurance i did my menu plan now all i have to do is mom's instructions the dishes and sweep and mop and then the bathroom for sure downstairs and I did my master bathroom already early this morning and then I just have to go and do some of my errands so look at that all right okay I'm gonna watch it's always something around here she has a thrifted Christmas decor video that I would kind of want to watch and uh, hi Luann so go check out her channel I'm going to wash this and do my dishes trying to get some ideas <laughs> busy morning I actually got a well rested night of sleep and that made a huge difference I was so exhausted by the time I hit my pillow last night and mom and I we slept straight through the night even though it was raining and windy kind of woke me up a couple of times but I fell right back to sleep so I'm so glad I got rest and I got up around 6 o'clock published my video and I did the dishes, I tidied up, I swept, I mopped, I'm crossing off stuff on my to-do list, which I haven't even crossed my items off yet. However, I'm having a morning. I have all my errands down, the caregiver just showed up, so I'm headed out right now to start one of my errands out of the many that I have. So it's gonna be a jam-packed day. And I think that kind of stressed me out, so it's taking a toll on my stomach. So now I got an upset stomach, which is not great when you have to go around and run errands. Yeah, that's not good. And then on top of all that, So kind of got a little bit of a late start to get into my sleigh and go. On top of that, 
I had to um, roll down my window real quick and all of the water off my windshield came right through my window because I rolled it down. <laughs> so now half side of me is all wet right now. Yeah. But it's not stopping me. It's not stopping me to film and to do vlogmas and upset stomach. Took some Pepto for that and it is sunny. At least it's not raining. At least it's not raining. So I'll take it. So anyways, let's do this, shall we? All right, gonna drop off my donations. Okay, guys, let's see. I have been to, uh, let's see, I dropped off the donations and then I headed over to the mall and I got the gift card that I need to get and plus I found me two shirts. And then I went to Macy's and I ran into one of our friend's husband and he was buying her a coach bag and he did good. He did really good. So I'm so happy for my friend. She's getting a really nice bag. And then um, I got some um, gifts there. Then it was about 3.30 and then I headed over to the Dollar Tree to load up on some gift bags and some tissue paper and some dryer sheets. And I am so starving right now. I'm at McDonald's. Yes, I'm at McDonald's. Um, and I'm having a French fry and a Diet Coke. <laughs> so uh, I got to rush home. It's um, about 3.50 and my caregiver is with my mom until about 4.30. <sighs> and then I have um, cleaning to do and I got to get ready for the other caregiver and order my mom's uh, and Jay some pizza and then I'm headed out again it's just a lot of long lines just the long lines is what's taking I think forever so it's not like you can go in grab what you want and then leave so um, tonight I gotta go to the grocery store and um, I think that's it. I don't know, but I gotta check my list. But I'm making pretty good timing. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so it is now 4.15. I have about 10 minutes to get home to relieve my caregiver. Mom and I got her a Christmas gift. I got her some cute little socks and uh, bath and body works. The lotion called love and sunshine because she gives us her love and she brings a sunshine a eh, a eh? so creative um there was a car around here and it's on <laughs> it has a flat tire it's a mercedes and the tire the the, the tire is coming off <laughs> the rim i'm like hello you need i think you should pull over so I'm hoping I'm, I don't get behind it. Hopefully it's not in my path. Wow, I covered a lot. I did a lot. Although, I feel like I didn't, but I did. I think I got done with everybody except for Jay. I wanted to get him a few things, plus my mom wanted me to go all the way clear across town to get a gift card. And I, I just don't want to. I don't want, not that I don't want to it's just that time is just I'm running out of time and like I said I have another caregiver she's coming over at 6 30 tonight so it brings me enough time to get home and kind of clean and just kind of chill for a little bit and then kind of reevaluate my situation and then get my errands and I don't know if I have a chance to go to TJ Maxx, I really want to go to TJ Maxx. But the thing with that is that the lines are going to be long. And I just don't have time to stand in the lines. Ugh. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I'm not getting all stressed out about this, that's for sure. I mean, <clears throat> my <laughs> our family completely understands our time. And if, if they don't really care. Especially, you know, my parents, our parents, I should say. Jay's parents, on the other hand, they're like, don't get us anything. Save your money. Save your money. <laughs> I mean, that's how they are. They're always saying that. But, you know, of course we want to give them something. So, <clears throat> all right, let's go back home. Let's go check on mom and relieve the caregiver.
Okay, so I am done doing the upstairs bathroom in our guest bathroom. Done putting the sheets on for my guest bedroom. I'm all set for my dad who they arrive safely in Bakersfield. So tomorrow they'll be here probably in the late afternoon evening time. So until then, I am ready to sit down. I'm so tired. It's about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. I'm ready to go to bed. Mom's already sleeping. So that's good. And um, But I went to my P.O. box and I got a couple of more cards. So I have to share these with you guys. So here we go. Okay, this one is from Alan Washington. <gasps> Gary and Kathleen. Isn't that cute? Kitty. So I hope you guys had a good day today. You know being at the mall and all of the stores i don't know i'm a person that if you're standing in line with me i just like say hi i chit chat i met the most nicest people in lines today i really did so i told them have a blessed day i told them happy holidays oh they're just so sweet so you got to make the best out of it the way i see it oh what a beautiful card oh my god that is beautiful and it says, Christmas blessings to you and yours. And look at that, made in the USA. Nice. Have a blessed Christmas season and a wonderful new year. Dear DJ and Queen G, we wish you the merriest Christmas and a happy new year. Health and happiness to all of you. As you can see, I didn't get to the Christmas stamps either. <laughs> hugs. It says, hugs. Sebi, Katie, oh, thank you so much, Katie. Oh, I love it. That card is beautiful. I know about the Christmas stamps. What's up with that? But at least you have some nice stamps. Look at that. Look at Katie's stamps. Thank you for the card. I will be totally putting those all out for us to enjoy. Yes, I have an idea, and I'll share that with you guys later. Because I kind of did the same thing when my mom was um, in an acute hospital. Oh, how adorable is this? Uh, let's see, where is this coming from? Holy moly, it says by airmail. Look at that. It says by airmail. Look at this, look at the back. I'm just loving mail time. Okay, sorry about if you guys hear the heater. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Holy cow. Ugh. I'm just amazed. I am just amazed. So that one says, ooh, something fell out. 2DJ and Queen G and Furry Baby. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> She's over there on the on the uh, recliner. It says, Merry Christmas, bring you happiness, and may your dreams come true. May the love you give throughout the year come back to you. Aw, that is so sweet. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, lots of love from Yvonne B. and family. <gasps> Yvonne! You are just oh my god this Yvonne you are just can I just say I am always so touched with all your very thoughtful and your oh my god your kind comments on my videos oh my gosh and she enclosed a letter in here hi D love your videos so much you and Queen G just have me giggling sometimes. Hope you like the card. Oh, I love the card. I am just learning to do handmade cards. So if you spot any mistakes, you know why. And she has a happy face. Love to you all, Yvonne. Oh my gosh, Yvonne, thank you so much. I, you know, I am truly grateful. I, I just, this is just, yeah, we love your card, I'm all, we love your card, Yvonne. <laughs> and look at that in the back of her card. The cards I'm getting are just beautiful and gorgeous. Holy moly, man. 
So if you like to send us a card, my PO box is down below. If you want to just send us a hello, we totally would appreciate it. Uh, this is what the whole true meaning of the whole magical experience with Christmas is all about giving. Just a giving of a hello, a card, a letter. Just, you know, it's just it's just awesome a comment I love to read your comments I reply and I'm very proud that I reply to every comment you know that is on my videos I do now the heater turns off <laughs> I swear that's how my day has been going but I'm so glad it's over and now we get to go with vlogmas day number 21 tomorrow thank you so much for watching you guys thank you so much for commenting thank you so much for just tuning in every day on vlogmas christmas is right around the corner i'm so looking forward just to spending the time with our family spending time with jay we're still gonna do our tag because i was telling him the other night i said are you gonna do the christmas tag with me he goes absolutely so we're gonna be doing that so look forward to that one i think that one's gonna be hilarious um <laughs> yeah that's gonna be good so, um, anyways, mom is doing good. We're all doing good. So, I'm wishing you guys the happiest, the most merriest holidays. I hope you guys remember to take time for yourself. And I will see you tomorrow.